Yeah, I need the numbers for the offshore accounts. Yeah, I need it as fit. Not now. Bernie, can I can I call you back? Yeah. I'm working for Mason Petrovich and Miller now, so anything I hear would be covered by attorney client privilege. So you didn't have to cut Bernie. No, out. I, I I'd rather talk to you. How you doing? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just say the new job beats shuffling paper for the feds in Alaska, but yeah. not by much. Diane causing you trouble? No, she's been great actually. Uh -huh. She's a little suspicious that I'm working undercover for the Justice Department, but she's extremely protective over her work with you. Well, that's what I paid her for. Yeah, well, that's why I'm handling uh, permit violations for your, your coffee truck. Permit violate? A, 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 an attorney as brilliant as you? That's wrong. Well, that was my decision to leave the Justice Department. Well, after they demoted you because of, you know, what we... Yeah, well, listen, look, I don't have any regrets at all. All right. So, just my decision. And I'm fine. Yeah. So how about you? Good, good. I mean, I'm, I'm fine. Everything... Good. Glad to hear. You know, um... I want to tell you something. Maybe you don't care. But, uh, but you're going to hear it anyway, so, uh, Brenda and I, Brenda and I set, uh, a wedding day. Alexander cornered you in an alley. Were you alone? Yes. You were wandering by yourself around the streets of New York City when you knew you were being stalked. Yes. Where was the security detail? I don't know what any of this has to do with my wrongful death case. Were you alone? And please don't insult us both by telling me another lie. No. And who was with you? One of my guards agreed to walk around the block with me. You're being evasive, Miss Barrett. And if you do this on the stand, you will lose the case. So who was with you? One of my guards is a cop. And he was with me. And Alexander cornered us in an alley. And they fought. The cop dropped his gun. Alexander was going to kill him, so I picked up the gun, and I shot Alexander. Just like when you killed Anton Banovic. The events are remarkably similar, aren't they? In both instances, I was trying to protect Dante. Dante? You mean Falconeri? Yes. And what happened next? Dante told me that he would take care of everything. And what was everything? I don't know. Did you do anything to try and help Alexander? Why do you care so much about Alexander? We should uh, pick up Brenda from the lawyer's office. Yeah, first, there's probably something you should know that you probably don't want to hear. Uh, okay. And the girl Michael's going out with? Uh, uh, Abby, yeah. There was a raid at Vaughn's. Ronnie was the lead officer. She and a bunch of other girls were hauled in for a solicitation. <sighs> Does Michael know? Yeah, he happened to be at the PCPD when the whole thing he... went down. Uh, how'd he take it? Ronnie started mouthing off to him. Michael went after him. I, I got in the way. and It, it could have been bad. Did you, uh, did you help Abby out? When I questioned her, she said she didn't do it. Michael believes her. I mean, the whole thing's still being sorted out. So is she still in lockup? No, and John Zakara shows up and bails everybody out. Apparently, he's a silent partner at Vaughn's. What did, what did Michael do? Did you leave with Abby? No, she left. They had words. They were pretty upset. 
Well, thank you for watching out for Michael. Yeah. You know, Abby, uh, she, you know, seems like a nice girl. But maybe dating her is trouble Michael doesn't need right now. Well, Lisa, aren't you going to introduce me to your colleague? Terrell Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Pediatric surgeon. I just moved here. <laughs> Welcome to Port Charles. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> so who's your friend? Well, um, John Zakara. <laughs> oh, I made reservations for us tonight at Chelois. I'll pick you up at nine. Okay, sounds great. And you are a lucky man. Getting to work with Dr. Niles all day. Yeah, well, she's a great surgeon. <laughs> Among other things, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'll see you later, though. <laughs> That's not what I look like. You know, first of all, you lure me here with the promise that we'll pick up where we left off. Uh -huh. Then it turns out you want me to seduce Robin Scorpio while you put the full court press on her husband. And now you are dating a bona fide card-carrying member of the mob. You are a very busy woman, Lisa. You're never boring. I will give you that. Congratulations. When's the big day? Uh, February 18th. You don't waste any time. Well, there's, there's an argument that we've wasted 13 years already. <laughs> well, I imagine this wedding's going to be quite the event. Well, if the wedding planner gets her way, it's going to be amazing. You're going to get a wedding planner? Well, there's a lot to do between now and, the, and fe oh. in February, so right. Brenda needs a lot of help. Mm -hmm. Well, I wish you guys both the best. It's very, very uh, nice of you. Well, I mean, it's not like I just got dumped for anybody. I mean, Brenda is the love of your life. I am trying to help you, Miss Barrett. If you're going to question or resist everything I do, you need to find yourself another attorney. I just don't understand why you keep asking me questions about Alexander. If opposing counsel finds out that you murdered your boyfriend three years ago, and the same Dante Falconeri helped you cover it up, this case is over and Alexander you lose. was never my boyfriend. Did you call 911 after you shot him? No. I was with a cop. Did you go to Alexander? Did you, did you try and help him? Are you even sure he was dead? No, I was hysterical. Dante said he was dead. Mm -hmm. But you didn't check yourself? No. And what did Falconeri do with him? I put his body in a swamp. And there is the possibility that he was still alive, grievously injured and terrified when he was dumped in that swamp. Yeah. We can't let opposing counsel anywhere near this. It proves a pattern. And if you fall apart on the stand the way you just did, then... Did you ever think of knocking? Brenda has some... We are in the middle of a meeting. Yeah, there's some new security issues. Yeah, I, we need to talk. I, I want to go. Oh, Detective Falconera, I need to speak with you. Uh, can we set up an appointment for, like, another time or something? You are a party for this suit. If you do not wish to cooperate... Dante, can you just take care of this? I'll take care of Brenda. Thank you for your cooperation, Miss Barrett. So, can we make this fast? I got a lot on my plate. Ms. Barrett just told me that she killed a man named Alexander Janicek in 2007 and that you helped to cover it up. So, what was it about Ronan that you liked so much? Was it the fact that he killed your old boyfriend or just the fact that he killed for a living? I told you from the start that I've got poor taste in men. I doubt that's going to change. And I'd only hurt you more if I stay. Oh, I see. So I deserve better, right? Yes.
this? Give me a break. Why are you making this so difficult? Because we have something real. So why not, instead of just walking away, why don't you face the fire and tell me what's really going on? Abby, you okay? No offense, but you look a little ragged, babe. Can you leave me alone? I know it would happen sooner or later. I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, come on. Everybody knows what goes on down at Vaughn's. You should have called me when you got picked up for prostitution. How did you know that? I told you. I keep an eye on you. You called Vice, didn't you? <laughs> you son of a bitch. So, don't blame me if you got busted for hooking. That dive's been crawling with whores for years. <laughs> You're a hooker? Oh. I am not a hooker. I don't get paid to have sex. You got picked up in that raid, right? What do you think would have happened if Michael would have been in the club when that bus went down? He'd go back to Pittenville if he gets caught fighting at Vaughn's or picking up a hooker. I am not a hooker, and I really don't want to have this discussion with you. If Michael sees a cop being a little rough with you, he'll attack. Assaulting a police officer, that's serious prison time. Michael will go back to jail. Do you want to be the reason that he goes back to jail? No. No. Then break this thing off with him. If you care about my son, you'd get out of his life and you'd stay out.